mean, what's the most fun you ever had being a Backstreet Boy? <laughs> Backstreet Boy. <laughs> Hi. Hello. What's your name? My name is Lon Sebasse. Uh, duh. I knew that. I only mean, I had a higher wall of you when oh, I was growing up. I am so sorry for your family to have to see that. Honestly, at summer camp, I went to theater camp, yeah. and all of us had sync posters over our bunk beds. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I'm sorry. All of us masturbated to it. Oh, what, are you kidding? yeah. Okay. You made me come many times, Lance Bass. <laughs> and we were like 11. Seriously. Oh, so tell me, where are we? Oh, my God. Well, we're at Jake's birthday party. What is it like, an actual celebrity? Is it great or is it terrible? I mean, I think it's pretty great. Yeah, I bet. I've been doing this since I was 16, so I don't really know much of a life without it. But I think the fame part is can be tricky, but uh, I think it's the easy part of the job. And you were one of the first to really come out as gay back in the day, right? As like a celebrity, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. It was me and Ellen. Yeah. <laughs> you guys kind of look the same. That's why I get told all the time. They're like, you are Ellen DeGeneres. I'm I mean, into it. I think you just got beautiful eyes, you know? She and she had a way worse coming out experience than me. I mean, she got fired from a lot more jobs than I did when I came out. Yeah, so. You just got to like suck dick and keep your money. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> so, what's Lance Bass's day-to-day -day life? <laughs> I mean, I have a production company, so I basically do television and film these days. I have a couple movies coming out this year, and uh, my newest TV show premieres May 10th. On what Amazon is it? Prime. It's called it's called Unicorn Hunters. You would think that it would be uh, a show about me hunting unicorns. It's not really. Uh, it's it's deeper than that. In business, a unicorn is a billion-dollar business. Oh. So it's basically the Shark Tank for billion dollar businesses. Wow. Yeah. So it's me and like Steve Wozniak, the treasurer of the United States, just some really crazy smart people, and somehow I got cast on it. You know, it seems like your fame isn't making your life a living hell. You're kind of chilling. No, I'm, I'm pretty good at it. And what's the most fun you ever had being a Backstreet Boy? <laughs> Backstreet Boy. <laughs> yeah. uh, sometimes I wish I was a Backstreet Boy because they're still touring. Are they really? <laughs> yes, they haven't stopped. Why aren't you guys touring? I would go to an instant concert like in one second. Uh, I don't know. Well, you'll have to ask JC's manager who's right over there. <laughs> What's wrong with them? They really, you guys need to get the band back together. Uh, it's been almost 20 years. Look, we were children. It was awesome. But we have moved on to... Green unicorns, pastures. unicorn fast. I'm into unicorns now. Um, do you have any tips for me about how to find love in Miami if you're not famous and you're a straight woman with not very big tits? Well, uh, Miami is a tricky city, just like Los Angeles. But the good thing about Miami is it's it's kind of choose your own adventure. So you find your crew. It's really good, and it's all about your really good friends introducing you to someone. That's the only way you're gonna find the right man. What if all your friends are gay and all their friends are gay? Are you kidding me? Gay guys know the best straight guys. If your gays are not hooking you up, then that's a bad gaggle of gays. My gaggle has gotten me no dick. You need help getting dick? I don't think so. <laughs> no, I've been married for quite a while. You're now. married? Yeah. Oh my God! Yes! Oh my God. Six and a half years. Now that's a unicorn. That is a unicorn, trust me. I it's a unicorn. And I haven't slept with anybody since dinosaurs roamed the skies. Oh my god. I'm serious. I'm telling again, you need better gay friends. That's my gay friend. <laughs> he never sets me up. You need to be a better gay Why friend. Why have you gotten me no you dick? Not, Where's you not my dick? A straight man. Lance says that my gay friends should be setting me up with dick. I mean, well, I'm sure there's some here. There is there is not a person who would look at me for more than two seconds because I'm shining. It's not true. All right, do you have any tips for me about how to make it in show business? Don't do it. <laughs> Stay far, far away. How dark is it in there? It's dark. You have to be a strong person to let all that shit roll off your shoulders. It, I, I would not want my kids to get into it. I would. <laughs> also, have you gotten more attractive over the years? Sure. No, honestly, like, I think you've gotten hotter. Well, the thing is, I was a gawky teenager, and that's how everyone got to know me. That is such a nightmare. 25 years ago, so I hope I grew into my looks. <laughs> I mean, I got to tell you, if you weren't married and gay, uh, I would hit it. Well. And not just because you were a pop star I masturbated to, also not knowing you were well, gay. The night is young. The is it young? Do I have a chance? You might have a chance. Oh, my God. Honestly, that would that'd be my bucket list. I get to fuck a gay guy, a pop star. 
and an Insigur. Yeah, you got that's like two, three. two bucket list No, that's shit. three. Yeah. That's three. Oh, I've never been on. able to fuck a gay guy. I've tried to trick them, drug them. It doesn't work. They always notice my vagina and they leave. Yeah. So what do you hope for the world for the next year? I'm hoping in this next year everyone has a lot more empathy and listens a little more. Look at it. He's so beautiful still. You haven't aged a day. Oh, Is it Botox? Oh, oh. It's Botox. No, I don't have Botox. You don't? You can move your I eyebrows? need it. Yeah. I need to do it, though. Because no. I'm finally at the don't, age where I need do to do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't turn in one of those fish people. Don't do it. You look great. Uh, and you're married. Who gives a shit anyway? True. You know what I mean? Very true. Oh, wait, do, do you guys get to sleep with other people, or you're like monogamous? We are monogamous. We're, you, we're one of those like a couples. real unicorn. I, I'm from Mississippi, so, you know, it's all about family and monogamy. Yeah. I've only ever heard of monogamy as a concept. Yeah, well, give me 20 years and it might change. I, I might give you three. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, you've been an incredible interview. Can you just say hi from Miami? Oh, hello, Miami. Mwah. You want a taste of the ice cream? First you gotta pay me the cream And make it fast like lightning You wanna play on my team You want a taste of the ice cream? First you gotta pay